Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. The main reason I wanted to do a review on this board is because it has the flex technology and it comes in at half the price as the main competitor, which is the penny board at $120. All right, so let's get started with this review. In the box, it comes with a T-tool, which you can use to disassemble the board and use on other long boards. Here you can see me testing out the flex capabilities of the deck. I love this because I ride a loaded Dervish Sama. It has flex on it. Some people may not like this, but I do. It's just all personal preference. Here's a size comparison between this 22 inch board and the 42 inch board. As you can see, just much more portable, but you're gonna lose out on some of that stability. So you might be asking me, why would I go from my beloved Dervish Sama to this? I'm not really switching, it's just an alternative. I'm a college student, so if I wanna go between classes or short distances, I want something lightweight I can attach to my backpack. I've also seen people ride these mini cruiser boards in airports and many other places just for quick transportation where you don't really need that great experience that a longboard can give. So you may be asking yourself, this board is $60, it's light, it comes with accessories, What's wrong with it? Now you see me spin the wheel right there. The bearings spin for at most five seconds. It's honestly pathetic. The way that I thought to resolve this is to just change them out. So I took my leftover Bones Red racing bearings and I put them on this board. Look at that spin. Okay, so this isn't completely necessary and in no ways does this mean you shouldn't buy the board because you don't want to change out the bearings. Me personally, I just wanted to go faster. Overall, this board for $60 would be an amazing gift for somebody first wanting to get into skateboarding or longboarding. Also, it's just a great mode of transportation and I highly recommend it. Rujo, what's your zombie apocalypse rating? 10 out of 10, I can definitely kill someone with this thing.